Okay, so the next thing I want to check is um, I want to look at the ECU, which is in the passenger side kick plate here. And um, I want to see what's going on in there. Okay, so this is inside the click plate. And what I want to do is see if I can unmount this actually because um, further up in here there's a relay I want to check out too. So it looks like there's just bolts on the side. Um, and there's a couple bolts in here also that are holding it so I'll take those out I'll take these two out and then I can get this down where I can look at it okay so there's there were 10 millimeter bolts back here two of them there was one on the side here and then there's one up here for I'm going to take this thing off because I think that um, the relays in behind there and then also if you open the glove box there's a uh, Phillips right here so I'm going to go ahead and take that apart okay so it looks like in here I ended up just taking the whole um, I ended up taking the whole glove box off because there was only just two more screws so I just took the whole thing off to get in here, but it looks like there's a relay or some type of connection here by the door. And then there's a relay up here in the top. So I'm going to check um, just the connections on all of these and see how they are. Anyway. My uh, thing's getting all rusted. I never used my heater. Okay. Okay, and then when you drop the <clears throat> when you drop the computer down, there's also in behind it some more connectors in here. Yeah, I think those are just connectors though. And I think this is probably just a connector. This up here looks like an actual relay in the top. And it has some pretty heavy duty wires going to it. Okay, one thing that becomes pretty obvious, I don't know if you can see this, but back in there you see some rust in there. That's actually where the antenna comes through the body. And it's been leaking, so it's been leaking in the back of this wiring, which is really important for the whole car, really kind of a stupid place to put it I would think and then it right down below it are these connectors so I don't know if water has been running right on these or not um, I have to check them all out and see what I was actually looking for is there's supposed to be a body ground in here someplace okay okay so the relay that was located in this spot which was above the um, in the door post above the above the uh, computer when I get got it out that actually it says on it that it's um, I may not be able to see it but it says on it that it is the uh, relay the um, circuit opening relay so um, I'm gonna see if I can find a way to test it and clean up the terminals and this might be I'm not sure it doesn't look like a ground that looks like it's just built into the case uh, the rubber part of the case maybe there, there's still supposed to be a body ground according to the wiring diagram there's a body ground in here someplace so I'm going to track it down okay so one more 10 millimeter bolt here and this relay 
additional relay up here will pop down and then if you um, right here if you take a screwdriver and stick it in the little hole on this plastic tab let me get a screwdriver here and point it out the little hole in this plastic tab if you stick a screwdriver in there then you'll be able to um, pop that tab out of the body and that's the wiring loom so then you can get in a look at the back of that if you need to. I want to get in there because like I said the water has been leaking in there and I can see that it's there's rust in there so I want to see what's going on. Let's see also if I can just clean that up in the back of there with some uh, Ospolo or something. Okay. Okay, the relay that was the relay that was up higher. All it says is just relay, um, and gives a number. So I have to look it up. I'm not really sure what it's for. Um, but this other relay definitely said that it was a Toyota. Um, Closed circuit relay. Okay. Okay, with these wires unhooked, I don't know if you can see that rust back is there, if you'll focus on it or not, but that's where the antenna is coming through the body. And it's dripping all down behind this um, this wiring loom. I still don't see any type of I still don't see any type of ground point yet, but um, there must be one here someplace. Okay, so I'm going to clean up that area. I'm going to use my old favorite, the Must for Rust. Craig call it a cutter. That stuff works really good. It's a, more like a phosphoric acid than a uh, oxalic acid. And then I uh, found out where it was leaking around a um, the antenna seal, so I stopped that from leaking, and now I'm going to see if I can stop it from rusting in here, and then I'll probably add some uh, um, galvanizing paint to the back of there to see if I can stop, stop what the rust that's already started. And then I think I found the... I think I found the... Um, the ground, which is really just it's not a very heavy-duty ground if it is it's just a little simple little black and white wire up here that just runs up to the top um, so I might try and make another ground in here some way um, it's bolted into I think it's bolted into this metal um, beam that goes across this like a stabilizing beam for the whole body here that goes across the dash okay So this is looking at the Toyota main cutoff relay again. So the only um, homing out I could find was um, online. And my, when I do my uh, homing test, I'm getting a little bit more here, but a lot more here. And I've, um, I've checked the contacts when I apply 12 volts to it to it, it um, to those contacts it does click but I'm wondering about the difference in this here this is the only one I could find so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this cover off this cover off and see what looks like in here. I've seen another thing online where there's a um, capacitor and a resistor in here, so maybe I'll take those off and check them. This thing's pretty expensive. Okay. Okay, so to get this cover off, to me it looks like it's just one of those that has the little um, 
where I got that screwdriver stuck in there, it pries it away from the case. There's one on the opposite side also, little tabs. So um, it's going to take two hands to do this, but um, I think if I get two screwdrivers in there and then I can just pry the plastic part off, that metal mount there actually slides out, but I'm going to leave it in there as a handle right now. Let's see what it looks like after. So one thing I wanted to show is if you don't have, um, you don't, instead of using like long handled screwdrivers and trying to pry it and stuff, if you have a couple of old guitar picks, uh, you can use them as like a budger thing. I don't know if people, if you work on uh, computers a lot, you have to get these so loose, but these make a good little um, thing for getting those clips off. You just jam them, jam the point in and then push in with your um, thumbs and it should release them. So get double duty out of your guitar picks. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's open and it does have like some corrosion on here, like moisture has gotten into it at some point. And there's a little ant or something crawling out of it. Maybe, maybe ants have gotten into it. Um, so I'll check the contacts there. They seem to be okay by looking at them and the uh, winding wires still uh, look like they're attached. Um, but I might try and clean up the contacts and then I'm going to want to try and check this capacitor here. I don't have a um, capacitance meter for checking things. but. I, might be able to figure out a way to do it. And then apparently there's a resistor. Yeah, I can see it way down in there. It doesn't look like it's burned or anything, but there's a resistor way down in there. Um, 130, is that picofarad? I don't think I have one like that. Um, so I'll work on this a while. Okay, so n now I put this saw back and I've cleaned off all these ground points underneath where it mounts to the body just in case these are ground points for the case and then up here I installed you can't see it but above here I installed a um, another I took the ground wire that was up there and brought it down and grounded it to the body here again just to make sure um, with a wire and I'm going to button this back up and now I know it's pretty easy to get in here if you need to get in here to get to the back of the um, circuit opening relay. It's right here, actually. And that's it for this part in here. So one last um, ground that I took care of is here on the uh, on the uh, windshield wiper motor. There's a ground that goes to body right here. I cleaned it up also. Like I said, I was looking for any any grounds that I could find. And then on here, I'm going to take the throttle body off once more and um, see if I can clean the, the valve in there again. It looked fine when I did it before, but the symptoms still seem to be a, that the valve is doing that. So I'm going to um, try cleaning it once more and see what happens. Just uh, waiting to get some gaskets.